Hi, in this video today I want to explain you how to solve genetic problems using rule of probability and here is a problem if we cross uh, one parent of this particular uh, genotype with the other plant of this genotype and we'll harvest 2000 seeds, how many do we expect to be round, green and produce tall plants? Even if you don't know how to solve such problem, how to approach such problem, just uh, believe me, in 5-6 minutes you would be able to solve such problems very easily. And uh, first we have to start uh, with analyzing our problem and question. So here we have uh, genotype of the parent one, so we can put P one here that stands for the parent one and here is a genotype of the parent two and we also ask uh, what uh, for the genotype of the uh, progeny that is going to be uh, going to have round seeds and how we are going to get round seeds we can get them whether if the genotype would be capital R capital R or if it is going to be capital R small r both these genotypes would produce uh, phenotypically round seed so we also can uh, abbreviate it as capital R and blank space and blank space means that we can put where is a capital R here or small r here but uh, for our problem it doesn't matter because any letter that we put here would produce uh, one phenotype but two possible uh, genotypes uh, can be possible here so the second trait we asked uh, for the our for our seed to be green color and green color, as you see here, we have for the parent one, this is capital Y and small y, that stands for the yellow color, and this is heterozygous condition, and parent two is homozygous, and two small y's uh, means green color. So the only one way how we can get green color, if uh, our uh, progeny would have small y and small y. So here we also put small y and small y for our uh, genotypes that we are looking for. And the last trait we ask it uh, tall plants. So what uh, genotype would produce tall plants? Uh, this is going to be uh, capital T, capital T, or capital T and small t. So these two genotypes would produce tall plants. So here we also can put capital T and blank space. And our parent one is heterozygous for this trait and parent two is homozygous recessive. So this is genotypes that we are looking for and we have to find uh, how many we do expect of this particular genotype. So we can start with uh, finding the probability for each trait and this is one trait, this is second and this is third. So uh, what is the probability would be uh, to have uh, this condition and in order to solve this we have to build a Punnett square so we can put parent 1 here and parent 2 here and parent 1 he have uh, here uh, heterozygous condition and parent 2 also have heterozygous condition so we can put capital R here and small r here capital R and small r here. Now we build Punnett square 
and in this cell we will have capital R, capital R, capital R, small r, small r, capital R, and small r, small r here. So three out of four would produce phenotypically uh, round seed. So we put here three out of four. And in order to solve for the, um, to find probability for the second trait, so here is a genotype of parent one, and here is a genotype of parent two. We also have to build a Punnett square. So here is going to be parent one, and parent two on this side, and parent one is uh, heterozygous for this condition. So we put capital Y and small y here and parent 2 is homozygous recessive for this condition or trait so here we have to put small y and small y here once again we build Punnett square and here in the first cell we have small y capital Y here we have small y small y and small y capital Y and small y small y and as you see half of the our progeny would be a green color so we can put one half here and now we can solve for our last trait that is uh, tall plants we have to find what is the uh, probability to have a tall plants and in order to solve this we also have to build a Punnett square and find this probability for the last trait so once again here we have parent 1 and parent 2 on this side and parent 1 is heterozygous so T capital and T small and parent 2 is homozygous recessive, so small t, small t. Once again, we build Punnett square. And here we have small t, capital T, small t, small t, small t, capital T, and small t, small t. And we ask for the tall plants, so 2 out of 4 would produce... Uh, genotype that would stay, stand for tall phenotype so once again this is going to be one half here and as long as uh, all these different traits uh, coded by alleles that is present on the different chromosomes so all these traits would segregate independently and that means that we have to multiply all these chances of the independent events. And what we are going to get here is going to be 3 over 16. So we're almost done. The only one thing left, we have to find the proportion of this probability out of 2000. So we have to multiply this by 2000 if you don't have financial uh, calculator you can just multiply 2000 by 3 and then divide by 16 so if we multiply 2000 by 3 we are going to get 6000 and when we divide by 16 we are going to get 375. So this is our answer. I think that my explanation were clear enough so you would remember it and you would be able to solve such problems if you would find on your exam in the future. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.